Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and these are my top five freestyle boards of 2015 in random order. They're all well-rounded for slope style and half-pipe riding. They're maneuverable and stable at all speeds, and they offer great ollie pop. Check them out. The K2 Fast Plan is a twin-shaped board with a freestyle baseline profile and tweak ends. The board is virtually flat, except there's raised or rockered contact points with tweak ends, nose, and tails. A flat, rideable surface all the way to the tips. Inside is a bambooya wood core. It's ultra strong and very lightweight. Combine that with an ollie bar that rests in between your feet for extra pop that doesn't add torsional stiffness. The GNU Rider's Choice is a twin-shaped board with a C2 BTX profile. There's a rocker in between your feet and camber underneath your feet to the contact points. The Rider's Choice has an asymmetrical style shape. There's one heel side edge and one toe side edge and mandatory traction edges. That's right, they're serrated knife-like blade edges that run down the rails that help you to grip down on firm snow and icy conditions. The Ride Machete GT is a twin-shaped board with a hybrid low-rise profile. There's a micro camber underneath and in between the feet with a slightly low-rise rocker on the nose and the tail. There's pop walls, side walls too. There's slime walls combined with carbon for additional pop. If you're a jibber, you're going to love the cleaved edge. They actually use 50% more steel, which makes them pretty much indestructible. The Burton Custom X is a directional twin shape board with a classic camber profile. There's squeeze box core profiling. There's thicker and thin sections within the wood core. Thicker sections on the lateral and medial sides of where their bindings rest and thinner sections on the nose, the tail and in between your feet. It offers a lot of power and a lot of playfulness. Combine that with 45 degree carbon highlights and you have a very aggressive board that doesn't add a lot of weight. The Capita Outsiders is a true twin board with a new age camber profile. Basically, the board's completely camber with small zero camber or flat zones near the contact points. There's custom weave glass. There's biax fiberglass on top and triax fiberglass on bottom of the wood core. In combination of that, there's the carbon fiber beams. Two strands of carbon that run pretty much from the contact point to the other contact point in between the insert pegs and your rails on both your heel side and toe side edge. They give the board tons of ollie pop and of course a little bit more of a torsional stiffness. Those are my top five freestyle boards of 2015. The GNU Rider's Choice, the K2 Fast Plant, the Ride Machete GT, Burton Custom, and the Capita Outsiders. Make sure to check out all the decks at thehouse.com.